Hello guys, this is Paralo and there, uh, I have been playing in this uh, Steam Next Fest week during the um, February of 2024. I played a lot of demos unlike other times and uh, here are some uh, demos. We are talking today about some demos that uh, didn't get their own vid. So let's uh, start. First game, Stormgate. Played only with the humans and only in co-op. I'm not a big multiplayer dude. I only play with friends and stuff like that. Uh, when I did play StarCraft, I played all of them. Warcraft 3, StarCraft 1, StarCraft 2. I played StarCraft 1 when it released. So yes, I am that old. And uh, yeah, StarCraft feels like StarCraft, the humans feel, feel like StarCraft, the UI feels StarCraft 2 in particular, feels like StarCraft 2. Uh, what they did, uh, at least in the co-op that I tried, uh, I saw they added camps, I'm not sure if those are in multiplayer also, so the camps have uh, different functions, the ones that I saw, some of them after you defeated the mobs were giving speed, boost others were giving a healing area just for a while they were resetting after a while so there is a mechanic around controlling those nodes and the third one that i saw was something that was providing one siege weapon which was going to the nearest in enemy base and started attacking so you only get those probably when you are ready to assault something near that note uh, other than that yes basically the human structure is about the same just with names changed <laughs> you got the workers you got the two resources i didn't get to play with uh, demons but i seen them a bit in action uh yeah it feels familiar uh, okay that's about it guys if you want to know more i think that um, the demo is still on so you can give it a go all right mostly i was hoping for a free campaign uh, look but uh nah <laughs> it wasn't happening all right next one the tribe must survive why are we talking about it because it will release at the end of the month so this one is a tri builder based on their uh, steam description i did play through the demo don't worry so i know what i'm talking about a tri builder with a general splash of survival and roguelike i think it uh, describes it perfectly i also personally like that they are using hexes instead of uh, the square tiles that you usually see in uh, builders and uh, i pray for the day when uh, free placement in builders comes along to the grid stuff as baseline like new cycle has now this one is uh, based like mean the core philosophy is based on the fear of humans on the fear of unknown right especially from the dark so you got to at night everybody stops working or at least if their workplace is not near a fire they will stop working and come back to the fire else the shadows will get them all right the boogeyman will get them and i did get i did lose one in the first night the first time i tried it <laughs> it's a cool game it's a cool game it has uh, a bunch of interesting uh, aspects to it tech tree uh, world expansion outside of map outside of game map exploration stuff like that it's cool and the setting it's cool uh, yeah i would give it a go time allowing it i would give it a go all right next game we are talking about yet another fantasy title yaft 
sure, for sure. Man, I like this one. I like the potential of the stories. Like, uh, they don't take themselves seriously. All kinds of crazy things uh, happening even in the demo that I played. But one problem that I saw other user had with the demo is the control scheme is just not great. It's not a great pick, especially for uh, the horses controls. Those that one is just hard to control. But uh, I might just get this one when it's done. I think it has a long time until it's done. Not this year, so it's a bit better. That's true. I don't know. chosen one. I can't see our voice now. Okay, in the mask. What? Devious shapeshifter. <laughs> uh, I might just get it and play it on easy just for the story and for the humor that is it it's just uh, it's about another type of hero yeah not the chosen one not the beacon of morality we get a scoundrel which gets uh, put in the position to try to save a kingdom all right okay. from or, uh, from a bad dragon i'm not spoiling anything because they said it in the first minute okay so this is the plot. We need to kill a dragon and the game is about a road to get there. But god damn it, take a look at that control scheme and make it more uh, accessible and fun, guys. All right, next one. All right, the fourth and the last game that I'm going to mention in this uh, video is the mechanic uh, 8230 series so the thing is I stumbled on episode 2 in this series so I found it interesting I do like a point and click adventure sprinkled with a bit of puzzles so I went back and checked out the demo for uh, the first episode which is called mechanic 8230 escape from Ilgrot it felt cool it's actually giving you hints for the puzzles they are not tough at least from what i played i played through the entire uh, demo for the escape from ilgrot and uh, yeah people were complaining that the episode is pretty short but probably it's a small team working on it still i found it interesting and i am gonna get it probably on the next sale or before that We'll see when I get the time. I mean, the last sale was 73% off. So maybe if you guys are interested, you can wait for the next Steam sale to get it. But it's on the lines of uh, Machinarium and uh, the Siberia series are another cool uh, point and click adventure. I played all of those. Uh, what else? Yeah, another cool game like that with story that I enjoyed. I enjoyed the humor and being from an, an ex-communist country myself, it was actually interesting for me to play through that. Irony Curtain from Matryoshka with Love. It was a very cool game. I liked it. Nine Noir Lives with the Cat Detective. And uh, yeah... These are the my top top uh, puzzle games with a story. All right, give it a go. If you are interested, buy them at a sale. If uh, you can wait, yeah. For me, they were. If you like the genre, they are uh, they are interesting and cool. I'm still waiting on something that it's on my wish list for a while now called. Uh, brass heart i enjoyed the demo and i covered it uh, last year a bit in one of the vids and uh, yeah these are uh, yeah there are some things that i keep uh, on my list some things may get um, removed in time 
due to due to gaming time but uh, some of them are actually enduring <laughs> okay so yeah thank you guys for watching and this was it bye bye